Good morning everyone. This is what Monday looks like in my life in Montreal in Canada. It's about 10 a.m. I'm in the middle of English lessons but I've got a bit of a break so I thought I would put this video together and I don't think I've ever done a video at this time of the day before. Hence the fluffy hair. Yes I've had a haircut. More on that in another video and I'm a bit unshaven so sorry about that. This video is a bit short and it's not a video about Canada, it's not about Mexico, it's about teaching online. So a lot of you may not realise that my primary income is not YouTube, it's italki. I teach English online to mainly intermediate to advanced level English learners. And I've done many videos in the past about teaching online. I've got a whole playlist which you can check out up above. And it's really all about advising and helping new teachers on italki or people that are looking to pursue this kind of life where you work online and you're location independent. And it might surprise you that in terms of the level of questions and queries I get on email and Instagram, the most popular topic isn't Mexico, it's not travel, it's teaching online. And I've had many requests in the last couple of months to post my introduction video on italki, which I've talked about in previous videos. I was slightly apprehensive about doing that because my old video, yes, I did a new one yesterday. Um, the old one was, it was awful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, because like you are when you start anything new in life, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You have no experience or expertise. But I think after two years now of doing it, I can put together a much better video to hopefully gain some new students. Um, so upcoming, upcoming, that's not right. <laughs> so my video is coming up, all right? And the thing I just want to highlight to for you to keep in mind, you know, if you're thinking about doing a video like this, you might think that you should speak like that. Very slowly, separating all the words, no linking sounds, very unnatural pronunciation, because you might be thinking, okay, I'm going to be appealing to many beginner, beginner English learners, things like that. And it's going to be easier for them if you speak like that. But Honestly, I find that quite patronising. You know, an English learner is not stupid. You know, <laughs> many of them, in fact, probably all of mine, are highly educated. And they've all told me, literally all of them, that they want to listen and they want me to speak as I normally would. Because that's what they want to learn. They don't want to learn to speak like this. So just keep that in mind when you watch my video, because I'm, I'm not speaking this fast, but it's at a pace that is slightly more native. So watch away, let me know what you think, and I'll be back at the end. Hello and welcome to my italki profile. My name is David, I am a TEFL certified English teacher, and I've been teaching with italki since 2017. I'm 37 years old and I'm originally from London in the UK. After working for a large retailer for 18 years as a human resources manager, I decided to leave the UK in 2016 to travel full time. As well as teaching online, I also run a YouTube channel charting my journey in relation to travel, working online and sustaining myself while being location independent. If you're looking for a friendly, relaxed, flexible and knowledgeable teacher, I could be the one for you. I have extensive experience in teaching English to primarily intermediate to advanced level English learners. I can assist you with all aspects of your English learning, for example speaking, reading, writing and listening, IELTS, CPE and BEC preparation, British English pronunciation and accents, as well as all other aspects of English that you may want to learn about, for example, idioms, phrasal verbs, expressions, advanced collocations, and also proofreading. Many of my students are highly educated. For example, they may be masters or PhD students. They may be IT or digital marketing professionals. And a large proportion of my current and regular students are from countries such as Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, Brazil and Hong Kong. Learning a language or improving at a language is a two-way process. So during a trial lesson we will discuss your needs and motivations when it comes to improving your English and we will come up with a plan that works for you. 
teaching online and teaching in a classroom are two different things because every student has different needs and every student is at a different level. Each week I send my students a lesson plan on Google Docs. Additionally, I will send you material on Skype. For example, this may be a list of conversation topics. It may be an article from a website that we can read together and perhaps focus on your pronunciation. Or it may be a collection of videos, for example, from YouTube that you can watch prior to the lesson and we can then discuss those topics during. You are, of course, welcome to provide your own material as well, because I believe teaching English is a two way process. During a lesson, I am more than happy to correct any of your errors in relation to grammar, vocabulary, sentence structure and pronunciation. I will also be typing throughout a lesson. For example, I may be recommending any more advanced vocabulary or sentence structures to help enrich your language. So if you're looking to improve your English, why not send me a message and I will look forward to speaking to you soon. Oh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> but honestly, seriously, I hope you found it useful when you're planning your video um, or thinking about becoming an italki teacher and you have no idea in terms of what you want to put in a video. One of the things that many people are concerned about is your confidence and how you come across on video. Obviously, I've been doing YouTube for a number of years now. I've done over 300 videos, so it's gonna be a lot more natural for me. In terms of editing, you know, you notice I put a lot of text and stuff on the screen and, and music. It doesn't necessarily have to be like that if you have no knowledge in terms of video editing, which I didn't a couple of years ago. My, my first video was very basic. So that's this video, and you know, the thing I will say to end this is that, you know, as an italki teacher, we're not all going to be the same. You know, you'll be appealing to different types of people. You may want to teach children. You may want to teach beginners, in which case your approach in your video will be different to mine. But my video is just an example. So um, I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much. And if you are a viewer and you are looking to improve your English, I've got to get this in there somewhere. Um, you know, feel free to check out my italki link in the description below. There is also a link where you can get 10 um, US dollars off your first lesson in terms of italki credits. So um, take advantage of that. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon for some more Canada videos. There's also a special Mexico video coming up, <laughs> which I filmed yesterday and that's going to come up in the next couple of days. So have a good week everyone and I'll catch you later.